Hello, my beautiful, beautiful friends. It's Stephanie Whipple, your personal wellness advocate. In this video today, we will be talking about immunity, what you can do to support your immune system, as well as a touch of chemistry, why certain oils perform the way they do in the human body, and some groundbreaking research on doTERRA's protective blend, On Guard. You ready? Let's go. Day two, session two of doTERRA's 2020 convention. We talked to Dr. Russell Osgothorpe, who had a lot of amazing things to say. He's a pediatric infectious diseases specialist. He talked about microbial cells trying to attack the body and how the immune system helps with that. He said there's two types of immune systems, the innate immune system and the adaptive immune system. The innate immune system is the primary protection against outside threats, physical protection like skin, mucous membrane, barriers that make it harder to enter the body, respiratory tract, digestive system, which includes mucus, bile, saliva, gut flora, and skin. They're all involved in the innate immune system. The the innate immune system is a uh, general responses, not specific. The next one is the adaptive immune system, which creates antibodies. It recognizes and eliminates infections. So if your body has fought a particular infection before, your cells have memories. Like we fought you before, we know exactly how to get rid of you and your body can get rid of this much faster due to the immune memory of the adaptive immune system. So your immune system is good, but what if your immune system isn't running at tip-top shape? Well, something that can impact whether this is true or not is your stress levels. They can majorly affect your immune system. Dr. Osgothorpe gave us a few tips of things we can do to keep our stress down and protect our immune system. Number one, which should be obvious, is wash your hands. Make sure you don't touch your face if you haven't washed your hands. Make sure you're constantly washing your hands so that, you know, you don't pick up germs and then transfer them from person to person, from surface to surface. It's just not good. Good. Another thing that can affect your immune system is your diet. And no, I don't mean diet like iceberg, lettuce, and tomatoes for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That's a diet that can negatively impact your immune system. A good diet, a healthy balanced diet, includes fruits and vegetables, which include vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, as well as healthy fats and protein. Moderate exercise. Look on YouTube for videos about yoga, kickboxing, dancing. Get your heart pumping, go on a walk. Do some moderate exercise and see how your immune system responds. Sleep, how much sleep you get a night can seriously impact your stress levels and by default your immune system. Dr. Osgothorpe did mention that eight hours of sleep, something we all know, is what you should strive for to get a good night's sleep. Our next speaker was Dr. David Hill. He talked about consistency. It's better to support your immune system consistently instead of using something that you know is effective in supporting your immunity when you're already fighting something. Then Dr. Hill told us about the doTERRA chemistry wheel. Now this is a wheel that shows essential oils, their chemical constituents, and then the calming effects that those chemical constituents can have on the body, which starts out with the terpene backbone, and then the ring around it is the functional group, which is the ketones, esters, aldehydes, alcohols, a couple more things, all that yummy stuff that we learned in chemistry in high school. After that, we see the chemical constituents, alpha-pinene, whole lot of others that I cannot name right now, the essential oils after that, which have those constituents in them, and then the benefit that you can experience with the oil. These are not exclusive uses of the oils, but if you love science and you are new to oils, you should start here. I'll link the wheel down below in the description box. It shows us the synergistic effect that using multiple oils for the same benefit has on the body, which is why doTERRA makes oil blends. Then we heard from Dr. Nicole Stevens, who talked to us about On Guard and epigenetics. They started researching On Guard 10 years ago, and then there was a groundbreaking study. I think it was in 2000. 14 or 2017. Anyway, it's called an essential oil blend significantly modulates immune responses and cell cycle in the human cell cultures. And I'll put the link down below if you guys are sciencey and interested in seeing that. So what were the takeaways from today? 
Consistently use products that you know boost your immune system. Consistently work to improve your immune system and keep yourself healthy. Don't be afraid to experiment with new oils or new products that support your immune system. Comment down below what works for you, what your favorite immune boosting product is, and what you plan to try in the near future. I love you guys so much. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit the like button. Remember, I'm here to support your goals of a healthy lifestyle overall wellness, and a successful business. Do you have any questions about essential oils? Do you want to see more videos with me using doTERRA products? Please leave suggestions, questions, and requests in the comment section below. Essential oils support my goals for a healthy lifestyle, but you should know I'm not a doctor. Hope to see you in the next video.